Hello friends. Hi, how are you? How are you today? My name is Laura. I'm the early childhood program or developer at Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose. And welcome to Storytime. This is my son, Mason. Hi. Hi. Um, I hope that you all brought in or brought a stuffy today um, and a blanket to tuck your stuffy hey, in. You can have that one. I'll take this one. Ooh, I got another one right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just folded that. Oh, I'm sorry. You did a beautiful job folding that. <laughs> um, because our story today is called I Would Tuck You In. So I thought it'd be kind of fun if we did a little tucking in with our stuffies later on during our story time. Um, so before we get started, oh, you found your owl one. Nice. Before we get started, let's start with our opening song. Ready? If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Check your hands, check, check your feet. feet. Check your hands, check your feet. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right, welcome. Well, like I said, our book today is called I Would Tuck You In. This is actually a very special book to me um, and Mason. My mom and dad give, gave this to them or gave this to him. Yeah. <laughs> There's just one of you. <laughs> um, when he was a baby. So I thought this would be kind of a fun story, especially since it's oh, going to be Mother's Day pretty soon. Oh, really? It, it, yes. Oh God, yeah, I know. Right? You better be thinking about that. <laughs> right, moms? Right? <laughs> All right. So this our story is um, by Sarah Asper Smith and Mitchell Watley. How do you tuck him in? We'll, talk, we'll show them afterwards, but that looks very good. Okay. So our story has lots of different animals, lots of Mama babies. Okay. Huh? <laughs> okay. If you were an octopus, I would grow eight arms to hold you. Okay, you're octopus. That's the eight arms. <laughs> if you were a brown bear, where's the brown bear? If you were a brown bear, I would snuggle next to you all winter long. This is not brown bear, it's a black bear. Oh, awkward. Well, that's the only bear I have right now. <laughs> if you were a little brown bat, I would find you on the darkest of nights. Are you making the sound of a bat? <laughs> what does a bat sound like? Can you try to make a bat sound? I don't know exactly what that sounds like. I saw bats before. Have you? Flying in the air. <laughs> That's what we have, huh? If you were a Rufus hummingbird, my heart would beat 1,000 times per minute for you. <gasps> Get your hummingbird? Yeah, look. Though it's really crazy. Huh? What's really crazy? Well, um, my friend Nicholas. Uh huh. Um, he has a hummingbird nest in his um, lemon tree. Oh, that's right. At school today, we were his classroom was talking about birds' nests. Not oh, real school, online, online. Online school, yeah. <laughs> but remember how hummingbirds fly really, really fast? Can you move your arms really, really fast? Like your wings really, really fast? They're so fast. Once, like you can't even see them. Once, this is really crazy. I was like right here where you guys are. Uh -huh. And I was right here. <laughs> it's story time by Mason. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. It's okay. And the hummingbird went. And, and the, I saw the hummingbird wing. Uh huh. No, go ahead. Was it going that fast? I can barely even see it. Really? <laughs> Have you seen hummingbird wings? Yeah, next time you see a hummingbird, watch their wings and see how fast they move. What animal is this? Do you know what animal this is? A porcupine. A porcupine. And if you were a porcupine, I would still want to hold you close. Right, porcupine can't get that. <laughs> but porcupines are really spiky, huh? So you don't really want to like hug a porcupine necessarily. Unless I guess you, unless you were a porcupine, then you would hug a porcupine. Yeah. But if you think porcupines shoot shoot the pills, they the don't. The quills, no, they don't. They don't. They just push up in the air. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah, and they can lose them. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I'm learning so much today. Are you yeah. learning so much today? I know. We're all learning so much today. If you were a bowhead whale, this is a different kind of whale. Look bowhead. At this, look at this whale. It has like a big bump. That, I know what that is. What's That's that? a bump. Bowhead whales, they call them bowhead whales. Uh -huh. Because they can, um... They can break through really, and 
the Arctic ice. Oh, you're right. And it, it says Arctic ice right here. It does. It's very good. It, yeah. Wait, does it? You, oh, it does. <laughs> it says, I would break through the Arctic ice for you. And that bone is mm -hmm. where they break through. It's very, it's like, they're a funny bone. Yeah, it's really the funny hard. funny bone can never break, right? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. Is this, a, this okay. one? No, that's a humpback whale. Oh. If you were an Arctic tern, I would fly to the ends of the oh, earth for you. Look at that. We don't have the bird. <clears throat> I know. I didn't have all the animals. I had some, but not all the animals. Woo! But look oh. at them flying through the air. It's nice. <gasps> Ooh, do you know what animal this is? Caribou. It's a caribou. Look at these antlers. Look at how big these antlers are right here. All right, so if you, if you were a caribou, I would hear you coming from miles and miles and miles away with a... Clickety click click. Clickety click click. Here they are. <laughs> oh, what animal is this? If you were a humpback whale, <laughs> I would sing a song to soothe you. Do you remember what whale songs sound like? Remember from our other story time? Mason did a really good job of the humpback whale. What was it? How'd it go? Ooh. I forgot. I lost it. You got better than me. <laughs> oh, God, that's not good. If you were a musk ox, I would huddle close to keep you warm. Look at all these oxes. Look at these horns. Look at those horns. And they have all this fur. Look at that. To keep them warm. And they huddle close. You know why you huddle close when it's really cold outside? Oh, because the other people or other animals around you Whoa. help keep you warm. Whoa. Keep your body warm. If you were a boreal owl, I would stay up all night and tell you stories. <laughs> I'm kind of short right now. What are you saying? I'm saying, today we are doing a story time <laughs> and we're reading, I would tuck you in tight. I would, I would tuck you in. Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> if you were a walrus, I would carry you on my back while swimming in the sea. Look at, Look at these this. Sound like, these sound like, <laughs> You know what? I don't remember how a walrus <laughs> sounds, to be honest. Do you know how what a walrus sounds like? We should go look it up sometime. Okay, I'm going to do it. Well, I can't read this second because I'm using my phone recorder. Oh, <laughs> But you see, see the, the walrus? See, look at these tusks and the baby on top. <sighs> okay, no, 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 no. All right. If you were a sea otter, <gasps> I would tuck you into a kelp forest bed. Look at that. I have a sea otter over here. Look at the sea otter. Look at the sea otter right here. <laughs> nice. Oh, I'm a sea otter. Well, then you should have stayed over here while I was on the sea otter page. All right, if you are a snowshoe hare, I would change my colors to play hide and seek with you. Look at that. Do you think that they maybe change their colors in the winter time? Maybe they get really, really white fur, maybe? Right here? <laughs> Matches the snow, huh? If you were a hermit crab, I would watch you grow into each new home you found. Wait, wait for me, wait for me. <laughs> we're waiting for Mason. He's coming. <laughs> Look at the hermit crab. See how it goes in its shell? See that? Oh, oh, maybe. Okay. Hey. I don't think they can see. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there you go. Kind of slower movement. Movement a little bit slower maybe so they can see you better. Watch my head. All right. But no matter what, I will always love you for who you are. <laughs> All right, and that's the end if of our you... story. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. If you wait, which is the happy dog? If you were a Labrador, if you were... they can't see you. Okay. <laughs> if you were a Labrador, I would snuggle you close every single day. Oh, that's so sweet. Would you do that with your stuffies too? I know. If you, if I were, or you if were a sandy bear, I'd snuggle you close every day.
Or, or if you had a real dog. Or if you had a real dog. We or, don't have a real dog. Pet. But... <laughs> All right. So I love that story. I just think it's a very sweet story. Um, and so I have a song that kind of, it kind of made me think of that, or the story made me think of this song. So this is going to be a bed. Okay. It's like a makeshift bed. And let's get five of our animals from the story, from the story. Oh, um, story. so let's see, we have our octopus. Let's see. We have, what do we have? The owl. We have, oh, the bear. We have, oh, let's do the hummingbird and the sea otter. I'm saying a comment about the bear. Okay. So I'm gonna say it's like- I know they can't really see. I guess I need to put this up here. What's their comment about the bear? Um, the bear will probably hog up all the space. <laughs> <laughs> you think all the space? <laughs> okay, oh, please don't do that. Okay, so my friends, a go our song goes like this and you might recognize it. It goes, there were five in the bed and the little one said, which one was the littlest one? Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, probably this hummingbird, right? <laughs> yeah, they're tiny. <laughs> Here, why don't you stand over on this side? You can help okay. me with that. Okay, thanks. All right. And the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. Uh-oh. All right, how many... Are in our bed. We need our hummingbird still, though. Can you please get our oh, hummingbird? Sorry. <laughs> no. All right. So let's count. How many do we have? We have one, two, two three, three, four. There were four in the bed, and the little one said, "Roll over, roll over." So they all rolled over, and one fell out. <gasps> Bye, sea otter. Oh, look at this big brown bear hogging up the bed. <laughs> and how many were left we had one two three all right all right so there were three in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out oh there's a lot more space in this bed now we got one i'm oh, sorry you can't really see one and Two. One, two. One, two. All right. There were two in the bed, and the little one said, roll over, roll <laughs> over. So they all rolled over, and one fell out. And how many were left? One. So there was one little, wait, one in the bed, and the little one said, I got the whole bed to myself. I got the whole bed to myself. I got the whole bed to myself. Yay, yay, yay. Woo, oh, good late. night. Oh, shh. Oh, <laughs> All right, my friends. I want to thank you so much for joining us for story time today. I hope you had a great time and we will see you again soon. So until then, let's sing our goodbye song. All right, it goes like this. Our hands say thank you with the clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with the tap, tap, tap. Oh. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands. Ow, so uh -oh. oh, don't hurt, hurt your wrists, but you can roll them faster if it doesn't hurt. And you just keep rolling faster and faster and faster until it's time to say goodbye. So, bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye everyone. Thank you for joining wait, us. Uh, See you soon. Bye. Oh, wait, we didn't tuck in. Oh, we didn't tuck in our stuffies. Oh, man. Okay, let's do that really quick. <laughs> we totally forgot to tuck in our stuffies. Tuck them in. All right, everybody Two. grab your blankets and your stuffies. Well, all right. You could pause and take a blanket. You could. All right, tuck in your stuffies. Get all nice I and cozy. Tuck it in. <laughs> Here. Thanks. Like that. Like like that. All right. Okay, now that everyone's all cozy, have a great rest of your day. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> all right. Bye friends. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list by visiting www.cdm.org. Sign up today.